All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the hill in this one, Art Warren. What do we have on him? Well, this guy lives and dies with his slider, and it's a good one. Most guys, you know, they're working off of their fastball, but he's backwards a little bit, works off the slider, and then when the fastball comes, it can add a little velocity in terms of perception when guys are used to seeing that off-speed pitch. When it's right, really tough to hit. Even if you guess it's coming because it's breaking two planes, horizontal and vertical. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Here's Juan Soto. In there for strike one. Well, Juan Soto had a. We go to the bottom of the first, and now the right fielder, Tyler Naquin. The right fielder. Here comes a pinch. Ground ball to the right side. And there's a base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. It just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here's Tommy Pham. On the ground to third, might be two. Quick feed to second for one, and that's all they'll get. And now the DH, Colin Moran. On the ground, could be two. To second, there's one. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Reds turned away first time through. Second inning upcoming from Cincy. We're scoreless on the show. I remember as a child. Bottom half of inning number two. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, Jacob Davis. The second baseman, Jacob Davis. Strasburg back to work. Line drive, base hit. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. You want Rudder goes again. Pitch is high. Not in time. He's safe. Davis at second with nobody out. Ripped, but it curls foul. Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. Joey Votto bops one out of here. And they jump ahead in the second. It's 2-0. fastball you have to live on the edges and hit your spots if you don't you'll get hit hard really good swing there patient waited for it it was like BP all over again swing and a line drive base hit out of the center field now no waiting around right there he was ready to swing it on the first pitch that's about as textbook as it gets got his stride and load out of the way early he stayed inside that ball and squared it up. Takes it in for the out. And they put the tag on him for the out. Now it's Nick Senzel. Bounce to the left side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a throw, and so they end up with some speed on it first. Kyle Farmer up to the plate now. That's ripped. Base hit. 
Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. First pitch swing in, went up there with a plan to be aggressive. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. In to score, another scores. Two runs in on the play, and it's 4-0. And he's safe at second with a two-run double. Now the number two hitter, Tommy Pham. Now back, left fielder, Tommy Pham. That one ripped, and that's a base hit into left field. Naquin, around third. He scores, it's 5-0. And into second easily with a two-out double. This offense is on fire. Three extra base hits in a row. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Evan Lee. He'll try to strand the runner at second. Digging in, Colin Moran. That one is hammered right field. Pulls it in on the warning track. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Here's the shortstop at the play. Back here in Cincinnati as we go to the last of the third. So now here's the Reds cleanup hitter, Jacob Davis. Well struck left field. And that ball is gone. His first homer in the majors, and they're going to have to send somebody to get that ball for him. Always such a special moment. You know this is one of the biggest thrills of his life. He's got to be floating around the bases right now. Yeah, he'll remember every detail of that at bat for years, as he should. It's a true once-in-a-lifetime event. Now, Brooke, there's so many times when a young player might wonder if he's ever even going to get to the big leagues and do something like this. Well, he doesn't have to wonder anymore. Well, he went up there oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Fly ball, pretty well struck right field. That's back there. And that one is gone. He flexes his power with that swing. His second home run of the series, it's 7-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. And that's a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. When you see a ball come off the bat like that, you know it was pretty much a perfect swing. And for me, you know, I start wondering, and I'm looking on the computer, what was the exit velocity? And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Runner from second crosses the plate, and it's an eight-run lead. Picks himself up an RBI. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Kyle Farmer, the next to hit for the Reds. Kyle Farmer. Base hit. One run in already. To third. Tag. Got him. Paolo Espino on a pitch out of the pen here. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Tyler Naquin to the plate. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That one opts against the fence. Safe at second.
So up next, Tommy Fan. That first offering is fouled off. Espino, he's someone that fills up the strike zone, so he doesn't give up a lot of walks, but because he's in the zone so much, a decent amount of hits occur. And that one ripped to left, and that's just foul. And he's got to get ahead early in the count and then be able to mix up his speeds, add and subtract some velocity, but command is the big key, throwing the ball where he wants to. Drops for a hit, he couldn't run it down. And now the designated hitter for the Reds, Colin Moran. Pulls that one foul. The pitch. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. Runner at third, puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded and still only one away. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. And now Jacob Davis. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And it's off the wall. Able to get back into third safely as a run scores. Tag, and he's out at the play. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. So in the end, ten men come to the plate. Six of them come around to score. On to the fourth now in game number one. It's the Reds 11 and the Nationals nothing. Welcome back. And here is... Back here at Great American Ballpark, John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Joey Votto. Espino back to work. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it goes just foul. Fouled off to the right. Ripped on the ground a second. Hernandez over to first in time. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Lined, and that's a base hit. Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit velo 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. The ones that feel really good. Back. And here it comes. This one hit to Franco. Tosses to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Kyle Farmer. Down the line, it's a base hit. Digging it out of the corner. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Takes it in for the out. Man at first, stepping in, Tommy Fan for the fourth time tonight. Fair. 
There's a swing and a drive. On its way. Gone. A shot to left. And they boost their lead. It's 13-6. On to pitch now for the Nationals. Number 64. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And you get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And forget it. Stepping in the long ball, Brett Jacob Davis. Second baseman. That one is absolutely belted. God! Another one. Back to back homers. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 15 6. Back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. A pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. Slapped foul. Kicks and fires. Hard on the ground to first. Bell steps on the bag. That's the third out. Inning over. Five innings complete. The Red. The pitcher for the Red. Reds, Tony Sant Back here in Cincinnati, bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the Reds catcher, Tyler Stevenson. And the right hater back to work. Hammered, and this one could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. That's a double, and he's got a four-hit day. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And there's a hit. Stevenson coming home. He'll score easily, and it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Now on the mound for the Nationals, Sean Doolittle. He's into the game with the bases empty. Next to hit, Nick Senzel. Turned on, but foul wide of third. This one smoked out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Two outs, bases empty. And now, Kyle Farmer. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. He'll touch them all. And they add a run. It's 17 to 6. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. And that is that. Seventh here in game one. It's pretty early in this series to say a must-win game, but when you've got home field advantage, it's a luxury, but you have to protect it. Huge win in game one to set the tone. Well, Singy, it wasn't pretty, but here's another look at the final line. Yeah, Boog, this one wasn't close. Not a lot of drama at the end either, and you just don't see a lot of blowouts in the postseason. Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.